Look! What is that strange animal running across the lawn? Why, it's an opossum. The opossum is a mammal that is classified as a marsupial. Marsupials are often referred to as the pouched mammals and the kangaroos of Australia are members of this group of mammals. The opossum is the only marsupial found in the United States. This young male opossum is a pet and was raised in captivity following the death of its mother. Opossums usually are not seen during the daylight hours as they are nighttime or nocturnal animals. Adult opossums are about the size of a large house cat. The head of the opossum is elongated with a snout that ends with a pink nose. The fur on the face is short and white. The snout is covered with long whiskers or vibrissae. The whiskers are extremely sensitive to touch and function as sense organs. Opossums are very clean animals and will lick their forepaws after eating to keep them clean. When drinking, opossums use their tongues to lap up water, much like a cat or a dog. This opossum is pretending to be dead, or playing possum, for which this behavior was named. Playing possum is used to trick other animals into believing that the opossum is dead. If the opossum remains very still, the animal attacking it will soon lose interest and leave. The opossum then wakes up and goes on its way. Poking and shaking will not revive the opossum from this catatonic state. Opossums have a relatively thick undercoat which is white nearest the skin and it is usually tipped with black. If the black color extends more than two-thirds the way down the hairs forming the undercoat, the opossum coat is much darker in color and this opossum is referred to as a dark phase opossum. The ears of the opossum are short, hairless, thin and leathery in consistency. They are bluish black in color and often tipped with a pinkish white band. The hind foot of the opossum is unique and shaped like a tiny human hand. The big toe lacks a nail and the hind foot is used to grasp branches and aids the opossum when climbing in trees. All the toes of the forepaws have nails, and because the toes can be spread far apart, the forepaws can be used to grasp branches when climbing or hold food items while feeding. Opossums groom often to keep themselves clean. This opossum licks its forepaws and washes its face in a cat-like fashion. A long naked tail further characterizes the opossum. The tail is prehensile, that means it's able to grasp, and together with its hind feet is used to grasp branches and aid in climbing.
This opossum is climbing down a pole and uses its tail much as a telephone lineman uses a safety belt. The female opossum has a well-developed pouch or marsupium on her ventral or undersurface that usually contains 13 nipples. It is within the protection of this pouch that the female opossum carries her young during the first 90 days following their birth. Here the pouch has been opened by gentle finger pressure to demonstrate three young opossums about three weeks old. The remainder of the litter is hidden within the deeper recesses of the pouch. This is the same litter of opossums, about 70 days old. The pouch has expanded to accommodate the growth of the young, but will return to normal dimensions following weaning. A litter of opossums just prior to weaning Note that this litter is comprised of both gray phase and dark phase opossums. Opossums are extremely sensitive to sound, as can be demonstrated by simply snapping a finger. A curious group of young opossums in a den made of straw, located in the back of a barrel. Young opossums of this litter elevate their snouts and sniff the air to determine what is outside their den. Opossums have a keen sense of smell. This young opossum is searching for beetles and grubs within a lawn. It uses its keen sense of smell as well as hearing to locate its potential prey. Young opossums of the Midwestern United States prefer June beetles to eat. Opossums of the Northwestern United States consume snails and slugs. This young adult male opossum has found a piece of dried fruit in an orchard to eat. Note that the opossum sits on its haunches and holds the fruit in its forepaws while eating. Opossums have what is described as a primitive plantigrade quadrupedal type of movement when walking on the ground. This means that the feet of the opossum are plantigrade, that is, shaped so that the opossum walks on the sole of its foot with its heel touching the ground. The tail is elevated somewhat, trailing behind the opossum and is not dragged on the ground. The opossum walk has been described as a waddle, but is in actual fact a trot. The faster the trot, the more exaggerated the waddle. When walking slowly, the opossum has three feet on the ground at the same time for support. As the opossum's forward speed increases, only two feet are on the ground simultaneously. Some interesting facts about the opossum. 
The opossum has the shortest gestation period of any mammal. It lasts only 12 and one half days. When born, the opossum is about the size of a honeybee. The average lifespan of the opossum in the wild is about two years. The opossum is not affected by the venom from snake bite, spiders, bees, or wasps. The opossum is resistant to rabies. This is perhaps due to a slightly lower body temperature of this mammal. The faster the opossum moves forward, the quicker the rolling action resulted in the exaggerated waddling motion. The tail is used for balance and shifts from side to side when walking or running.